What's up, everybody? It is Roche Boy, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. Hi, you guys. And as everybody know, I stay rolling my eyes. Hey, you guys. I just made it to the, um, ooh. I just made it to the beauty supply place. Um... I was supposed to be taking out my braids, but I'm looking at all of these beautiful different hair colors and everything, and I want to, I think I might want to just keep my hair braided for a little bit longer, and then when it gets closer to my birthday, which is way in June, and it's March, which is way in June, then I can just do my hairdo for that, for that day. Um... I wish y'all can see the hairdo that I'm looking at right now. It's rasta free. I don't like to braid with that. But I'm looking at the rasta hair, the colors that they have. Look. Look at that. Very nice colors. Um, it's definitely time for me to really wild out with my style. So I think what I'm going to do is get me. Um, I have expressions though, but they don't have it here. I wish they had expressions here, but they don't. They have black and gold, which always, in the past, have always, I've used that faithfully. That's if I wanted to do a certain look. One day I'm going to come in here and get, just get some human hair and then do that boho look again. I did it before back in 2021, but it didn't really do for me what it was supposed to do. That was my first time ever doing that hairdo, so um, I think I might do it again. But this time, I'm going to do it right. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do. Because it's like a part of me want to get. Okay, with some hair, I don't like the way it looks at the end. But I think that's probably all braids. Now, i got expressions in my hair. And this is how it looks at the ends. So, if I dip it really good, then I don't think it would be a problem. A part of me want to get that blue. It's like a whole blue. That. Because that's the school colors. That's my job. My job have those colors. But I think um, I came here to get some weave glue. I came here to get some. Um, push come to shove, I'll just order that got to be glue sprayed on Amazon. Because um, I think last time I came here, it was all sold out, which is not a problem at all. I just buy it from Amazon, like I just said. Um, I'm looking at all these different colors that I may want to get. I would love to experiment with some colors though because that that'll be super grand so um <clears throat> that, ooh, that red hair ooh. that red hair is looking mighty fine it's rasta free pre-stretched you yeah, know i wanted to experiment with doing red braids but i wanted to wait closer to the summer or towards the end of the summer because i'm taking my safe safe but well, i'm taking my safe okay i'm taking myself out to the skating rinks for my birthday and i'm still going to be going a lot of times after that because i really want to spend time with doing what i want to do in the summer and i need to find a new groove you know i like to paint i like to draw sometimes listen to music but i think i want to start getting into skating because um i have to pay so much on bills so I think I may have to wait before I get any more roller blades. When I feel like my bills are starting to come down and I'm able to maintain it, then I'll go ahead and get my second pair of roller blades. Oh, that's my color. That is my new color. That is my color. I love that color. I'm gonna just I'm gonna do a beauty supply haul as soon as I get home and show y'all what I got but it's it just the feeling in here is just amazing <laughs> now my job I can wear colorful braids and all the other stuff they don't trip about stuff like that and I can wear these piercings they don't trip about stuff like that um just that if I was working somewhere else I would have to hide it which I don't have no problem with that true but I do want to experiment in buying different colors. They got better colors with this hair than they do with um, Expression. Even though I'll deny I ever said that later on. But yeah, they do. 
Yeah, a part of me want to do this Rasta. Rastafari in here. And just put that in the back and then put black in the front. What y'all think? I think I'm going to get it. This one pack. And then I'm going to find a put pack of black. That wig is cute. That wig is so freaking cute. Yeah, y'all. I got it. It's hard for me to start mixing it up. Doing something quite different. So, instead of me taking my braids out, I'm just going to redo it. And then once I feel like I've done, re redid enough of my hair, the Clack Sister Nails. <clears throat> oh, my throat. The Clack Sister Nails are going back in. Oh, this is stupid. Okay, I'm getting, I'm like a kid in a candy store. Because I'm finding colors that I've never seen before in my life. And I like it. So I will see y'all later when we get to the house. Hey, you guys. This is the next day. I was supposed to show you guys the video of me at the beauty supply place, which I taped half of it at the beauty supply place. And then I did tape um, showing what I bought when I got home, but I erased it and was just like, I'll just redo it. So it is the next day and I'm going to show you guys what I bought at the beauty supply place. I'm going to try my best not to make this so long because I think the first clip was already close to six minutes at the beauty supply place. Thank God there wasn't playing no music because I would have been able to give y'all no content because everywhere I try to go that's outside of this house, everybody's always playing music. So, and it's hard to do like, to chop it up into like seconds, but you will still catch it. And then I will probably still get demonetized or copyrighted or striked or whatever you want to call it. But this is what I bought from the beauty supply place. Um, I did buy... A bar of soap is Shea Moisture Soap with frankincense and myrrh. And I bought an edge brush. I already got those things packed away. You guys know what Shea Moisture Soap look like. You guys know what an edge brush look like. You guys know what braiding hair look like. But I want to show y'all what I picked out. So I got this color. And it's like this Rasta color. As you can see, it's Rasta free hair. It's pretty stretched. It's upside down. Excuse me. And I'm going to save this color for more in the back leading up to the middle of my head so i'm going to start braiding with that color right here and it's probably going to go up to here i'm hoping it goes up to here i'm going to be true to the size i'm not going to cut it in half because it defeats the purpose and plus it's going to look like this if i decide to cut it in half and to make the braid shorter it's going to look like this and i don't want to braid it like this i don't want the red to mix up with the green and the yellow just to be the main no it's, it's going to look stupid and it would be dumb for me to cut it in half just to put the two green ends together when I could have just kept it like this in the first place. So I'm going to be true to the length and I'm not going to cut it. And I'm going to keep it like that. And it's probably going to be about, realistically, it's probably going to be about that long. Which I'm really not looking forward to longer braids, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's still kind of cold out there. And my plan was to take out all of these braids and wear that human hair drawstring ponytail that I showed you guys yesterday along with the blow dryer. But I said, you know what? So I don't be completely bald headed, not by choice. Let me go ahead and stick with braids for a little bit longer, but to get this nice light size, cause I like these braids and I like the length because it's light and I can just put it up like this and boom, voila. It's, it's nothing. It's not light. It's not heavy. It's not pulling anything too tight. I already ain't got no edges. So I, you know, yeah, no, it's like I may have to make these kind of smaller, smaller than this in order to get that light feel because it's going to be so many braids. And once I put it up, it's going to give it that look of, <sighs> it's going to be a huge ball pretty much, but I don't want it to be heavy. That's the only thing um, about doing braids this length and having so many braids, but I want to try it because I have to expand my horizons and I've been told a lot that most jobs don't accept, you know, their employees with colorful hair. Disneyland wouldn't have it. I think Universal Studios, you're not allowed to wear this kind of color. You may get away at Universal Studios with this color, but it has to be for Halloween only. Like for Halloween, if you're working for Halloween Horror Nights, they let you keep your piercings. But as soon as Christmas time comes, you got to take all that out. Yeah. Even guys with beards, if you have a beard coming in, it has to be fully in or off and they'll make you shave it. And it's like, well, how do I got to, I want a beard, but so you're telling me I have to grow a full, full beard in order to wear 
it's their rules. But Disneyland is more strict. Like, if you came in with human hair and you only braid all the way down and left the rest out, they would tell you, you have to have it braided from root to tip. They told me that. Now, I don't know. This was way back in 2016, so I don't really know um, exactly what the rules are nowadays, but I know that's what they told me. My job allows me to wear this colorful hair as well as my piercing, so... And long nails. Clack scissors be clacking. My thing is, I do. I get my work done. They know it. I'm, I'm still getting compliments from my boss telling me that he appreciates what I do. My evaluation's been good. I show up to work. I show up on time. And that's that. So, and plus, most of the students at my job, they kind of like seeing the employees dance and be involved in the pep rallies because it brings them out a little bit more. And this new principal has been giving most of these students a voice. So, they're able to implement and do the things that they want to do. But you got to still keep them grades up. You got to still be passing the basic minimum skills test with great scores. So it's still some get your work done. But it's time for the pep rally to woo saw. The kids will be testing, I think, all this week as well. We have video game night. So I definitely want to kind of do be a little bit festive and just do a little something like this, you know. And just have this in the back and then just wear this one in the front. To still keep the black kind of in the front, but I'm just going to go down to red. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to wear this, but if they tell me, now if they tell me, okay, hair color can't be too drastic. Most of the dress codes is for the children because they come to school with midriff. They come to school wearing short clothes. They come to school wearing PJs. PJs are not allowed unless it's pajama day. So that has... You know, they've been approving on that. But anyway, yes, you guys, this is one of the packs of hair that I bought. This pack of hair was $13.99. The lady said, this is $13.99. And I was just like, okay. I've always wanted to try it. I've seen a, um, I'm not even going to tell you what this YouTuber name is because I don't want to get it wrong. But she does do hair. And she wore this. But she wore hers in the front all the way. And it looked so amazing. And ever since I saw her. I saw that video with her wearing this color here. I wanted to try it so bad, but I was always afraid because it was somebody else is going to tell me a job me think about it. But I say to that and I'm going to wear it anyway. <laughs> okay. Sometimes you have to have that effort. Let me do it and see, you know, they may be right. They may tell me you need to change that. You need to take it out. And that's fine. That's fine. I mean, I have a whole week off that's coming up. Um, I work four days this week and the next week I'm gonna have it off. So I'm gonna be able to really, really wear this the way I want. And as long as I want and do what I got to do. Um, I think I may be having jury duty sometime. So I don't know if they will allow me to wear this. That's why I'm going to put most of the black kind of in the front, probably up to here where my hand is. I do have some more black expressions hair left that I can mix with this. I also have blue hair too that's in there. So you will see, we'll see. And I'm going to start experimenting wearing different colors. That's pretty much what I wanted to actually say, which I don't know why I don't, I don't just get to the point. But I want to experiment wearing different colors because I have a whole style out there that I haven't really, really, really tapped into yet. And it's a shame that I'm still sort of kind of, there's a little bit of percentage of me still kind of caring about what people think in there. And I have to have this effort, wear your long nails. Um, if somebody thinks that you don't wipe yourself good enough, I do. Okay. I don't be smelling like booty. Thank you very much. I take baths and showers. And I have to change up certain feminine products and stuff like that in order to, you know, because as you get older as a woman and as a man, you guys may have this ball problem that, you know, brings out this odor that's like, oh, 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 oh my gosh, what is this? All I did was walk outside and change your mail. <laughs> you have to change it up. I think baths are good for everybody. I heard the comedian Lou Nell say it. She think and behinds belong under the water. And I'm going to add to that and say balls belong under the water too, guys. So, yeah. But that's for a whole different video. I don't know what brought me to say all that. But here we go. And I also got these pair of earrings there too. At the beauty supply place. Looking like Jody Wiley's sister or something other. So, yeah, I don't want to get gold because gold always ends up turning brown on me. And I don't got time for that. Yeah, so, y'all, these are my braids. These are everything that I bought from the beauty supply place yesterday. I did hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
I hope you guys enjoy, enjoy the first clip of this video. I'm going to start really taking the time out to really edit my videos and make it make sense. Because I am not trying to give y'all no bald-headed video. Time out. Oh, uh, you guys. Not with no type of intro, no. So, yeah. 